Hi, I'm Clay with Jackson Kayak, and I'm going to show you how to replace a backband rope. When these ropes get old, they can get worn down. They can get really slick in this, and kind of uh, gray and frayed on the side, as opposed to the nice fresh rope the way it is when it starts. So if you need to replace a rope, we offer ropes for sale. We also, you can use just about any rope about the same diameter. These just work particularly well. You can also simply tighten the rope to the newer, fresher part at the end where you've never put it in the cleat. So to do any of these things, we're going to first find the connection point. So we follow the rope back from the cleat, back to the back bend and back forwards to where it goes through this little hole right here. Now we're gonna reach up with needle nose pliers, grab that rope. There'll be a knot on the end, a little bit of a challenge. To work out give yourself a good bit of slack there it is so now i can simply take this piece of rope slide the washer down and tie a new knot further up the rope so now i'll be using the fresh section at the end of the rope on the top end or i can replace the whole thing to do that i'm gonna have to take this knot out or just have scissors on hand and cut the knot off Pay close attention to how all this fits together. The rope goes through the cleat, out the middle line, through the back band, and then into the small hole. So we pull the rope through the cleat, through that medium hole, around the back band cleat, uh, D-ring, and now the whole thing goes through that really small little hole and pops right out. So now, I go get my new rope and I'm ready to go. One thing I've got to remember to do though is to save this little plastic washer that was on the knot at the end of the rope. This is what keeps the rope from coming back through the cockpit rim. Okay, so that's gonna be our last step. So I'm going to make sure I don't have any knots and this one has knots in it because I was using it for something else. Okay, so I have a knot in one end so that it can't pull through the cleat. Now I've got to thread it through this hole and back to there. Now, our thigh pads are gonna be in the way, so we're gonna pull those back. You can heat it up, do it on a sunny day, or just pull it back. You don't have to pop this rivet, just peel back a little bitty section right here so that you can see light when you look through that hole. And then you just thread the rope right in there until you can reach up and grab it. So, success. Pull the rope up. Now, which hole does it go through? The middle one. So I go out the middle hole. Sometimes I'll have to bend this to make it come out at the right spot. Done. Now I go through the back band's D-ring. I think you can see that a little bit. Through the D-ring. And now the hard part, we gotta go through the small hole. So here we go, going through the small hole. Sometimes the rope won't go very easily and I have to get needle nose pliers or something and push it through. There we go, we got it through there. Now I take the needle nose pliers, grab the other end and pull the slack out. There we go. So here's my plastic washer, slide that right on the rope Tie a figure eight. I like the figure eight. You can tie bowling, you can tie two half hitches, you can do whatever you want. But I like the figure eight. It's simple and makes a nice knot. And that knot keeps the washer off and the washer keeps the rope from pulling back through. That's essential. So now we've got a nice fresh rope and it'll hold nice and tight while we do all our play boating or creek boating or whatever else you do. Anyway, that's rethreading the ropes on a Jackson kayak. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great time on the river, whether your ropes are old, need replacing, or whether they're brand new. Have a good one. Bye.